It's amazing, and I hope somebody steps up. All of us, we need to step up and help that young lady to achieve her dream, and many others like her. Now, counties are forging direct partnerships with the European Union. This is barely a month after the government signed the Economic Partnership Agreement, which is to secure lucrative markets. The Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry, Cabinet Secretary Rebecca Miano says that this pact and others will push for products made in the country rather than the county aggregation industrial parks to position the country of Kenya as a choice destination for quality goods made by dependable value chains. And as Hibak Saeed now reports, just how will this impact the individual progression of these counties? The Economic Partnership Agreement, which was finalized mid-last month, after an eight-year standstill was meant to push Kenyan products, duty and quota-free, to the 27-country rich European Union. The deal set into motion a flurry of interest, especially for county governments, now armed with county aggregation and industrial parks, to take a bite of the global market cake. The government of Kenya, through my ministry, recently signed the EU Economic Partnership Agreement. And this crucial pact seeks to bridge a long-running trade deficit that together with other existing international trade arrangements such as AGOA will increase our export quota into the rest of the world. The big development banks had troubles in the past to go to counties because the threshold for the concessionary loans is so high. So this European Bank for Reconstruction and Development is actually ideal for startups and lower, lower amount uh, investments. And I have high hopes that once they're established here, which will happen this year, they will be a driving force for investment in counties. Homer Bay, which becomes the first county to make significant strides in this respect, is already looking to tip the demand and supply scale in favor of the Lake County. And these are investments that can actually fit within counties. So we are preparing, for example, for this conference, so that we can show the mid-range investors what they can invest in, so that when the EIB comes into the country, they are able to find ready opportunities for this to happen. We are working as a council to support and facilitate and ensure that there is uh, adequate engagement uh, between uh, potential investors through their respective uh, government offices in the country, like you've seen. That's the role of the um, foreign missions and, and uh, the ambassadors. This comes as Kenya courts trade connections with strategic countries and the ministry sets up corresponding trade offices for enhanced coordination. And that's what investors need. They don't need the long, involved story of 100 opportunities. They need four or five substantive opportunities, and you've done a really nice job on that. As county governments forge direct connections with the international markets, the European Union seems to be a crowd favorite as Homer Bay forges ties in trade and investment. Hibak Said for TV 14.